Konnichiwa minasan. Kyo desu. So occasionally when I read the comments, I usually see questions that people ask. And some of the questions that you guys ask are actually good ideas to make a video on. So today I want to answer a question that I thought would be interesting to make a video on. What's your thoughts on the LGBTQIA plus community? Are you against it? So I think with any of like very heavy or controversial subjects, I'm gonna put a disclaimer. Understand that as much as you might like me as a person, you may not agree with all of my standpoints on multiple areas of life. There may be some times that I get stuff wrong and there may be some times where you may not agree with me on a certain point. My hope for this channel is just to create dialogue about certain stuff when I talk about uh, things concerning politics, life, or social issues. Uh, I want everyone to be open-minded and be willing to have the, uh, the discussion about it, but understand that you don't have to agree with me with my points, but these, again, are my points, so I'm gonna share what I believe. Me personally, I think the LGBTQ uh, movement is bringing a lot of confusion to humanity. Um, for thousands of years, I mean, we all knew that homosexuality existed, it's nothing new to the human race. It's existed before and many cultures have practiced it and celebrated it. Um, and it's been here since the beginning of time. However, this movement that has been really birthed in America and is, has gained pretty much a worldwide uh, following, I believe has done a lot of social damage to uh, our country in America and the world at large, but it's doing a lot of damage in America. Basically at first, a lot of people in the LGBTQ community were basically advocating for equal rights as far as marriage is concerned, that we want to marry two men or two men can marry and two women can marry, and that it's seen as an equal relationship as a married man and a married woman together. However, even on a natural standpoint, I don't think this is good because two men and two women can't reproduce unless you use some kind of outside method to bring in children, whether it's adoption or, you know, uh, taking an egg or sperm from a donor or whatever and making a baby through that method. And if you're looking at it from even an evolutionary standpoint, if a species of animal was to be homosexual, there's no way that that species can reproduce and, and have children because a lot of what secular evolutionists uh, kind of teaches is that it's survival of the fittest and it's to survive, eat, fight, and you know mate to have your offspring uh, continue your line or your lineage. And even me, I am a Christian, so even my personal beliefs, I do not agree with the lifestyle. However, that doesn't mean that I hate people who are part of this community. I've had multiple gay friends in high school. Uh, one of my best friends um, was a bisexual. I had another friend who was bisexual who became a Christian after. Um, I was in drama club in high school and there tends to be a lot of gay people in drama. Uh, one of my uncles is a homosexual. And uh, to me, it doesn't matter what you believe in, what color your skin is, or what, you know, what race you, you belong to. Uh, I treat you as a human being. I'm not denying your humanity. You know, the same way I can talk to a person who lives in a different country, the same way I can talk to a person who lives uh, a gay lifestyle. You know, like to me, I'm not like, bothered by or like I, I won't have a conversation with. I'll still be your friend like to me like it doesn't matter if you're atheist you believe in God whatever like I'm cool with everybody however that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to agree with everything you practice or you believe in um one of my best friends he's agnostic he doesn't believe in God I've had atheist friends who don't believe in God but yet you know we can still have a friendship together but I don't agree with their view on life. You know, my view on life is different. So when I say I disagree with the gay lifestyle, it doesn't mean I hate gay people. Like if I talk to a gay person on the street, I mean, it wouldn't be no biggie for me. I mean, you're still a human being. You know, I'm not gonna treat you any different than anyone else. However, like I've stated before on this channel, I do believe that um, female and male marriage uh, union is what keeps a society going. It's the foundation of a society. If you don't have strong families in any society, that's, that's, uh, that uh, society is going to collapse. And already we're seeing in America and also in Japan, the result of not having uh, two um, parents, mom and dad, having a, su a successful marriage and birthing kids and raising the kids right. Right now, marriage is on the decline and that has caused a lot of problems. So when you attack or when you try to change the traditional institution of marriage, I think it causes a lot of confusion and brings a lot of 
unnecessary problems to society. And ever since the law got passed in 2015 in America for uh, federally that, you know, uh, same-sex couples can get married, it's kind of opened a box of worms because now we're also dealing with transgenderism where now we, we, we are preaching in America that uh, men can be women and women can be men. And even if you're biologically a male, if mentally you're a female, you're considered a female. Even now we're saying in you know this political correct space that a biological male can give birth. I mean, honestly, I, I do believe that gay marriage has opened a can of, 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 of confusion that's really gripping our society today. Where now we're even saying there's like over 72 genders, which is crazy. There's only been two genders since humanity existed, which is male and female. And what I don't like is that a lot of the LGBTQ community is actually shoving this stuff on young children, where now they're teaching kids how to be in drag. Now we have plenty of cases in America where we have parents trying to change the sex of their child. And you know, children often say they're this or that. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a dolphin. Or if I was a kid, you know, I want to be a, a, a tiger or a woman. You know, kids say the stupidest things. And Parents actually take that as an, oh, my child is transgender. So let me put my young boy in surgery and, uh, you know, cut off his, you know, private part. And now he's a woman. Like, you know, I, I think that kids who haven't even gone through puberty are being exposed to very adult ideas. And it's messing up our society because if, if kids are being introduced to something adult at such a young age, it can really hinder or affect their, their growing brains. And it's getting even worse where they're saying there's really no difference between a male and a female. Physically, a male and a female is no different, which we know is not true. Physically, males are more powerful, they're stronger, they're faster, they're able to endure a lot more physical hardship. Women are built differently. They have ovaries, they can get pregnant, they have cycles, they have sexual organs in their breasts. Like, we are naturally made different, however, I do believe we fall in a rabbit hole where now we're teaching a lot of delusion and unscientific things about sex and male and females. And I believe that it started with the whole gay marriage. And the thing is, it's like, you give someone an inch and they take a mile, meaning that you give someone a little leeway and now they're, they, they've ran, you know, um, far distances with it. And it's, it's causing a lot of confusion. I think this is the most uh, in Western society that we've been so confused about relationships. And, you know, I, and I've heard stories, even kids wondering, like, am I a man? Am I a woman? I'm confused. You know, my schools are teaching me that we can choose our gender. Even some cases where some parents won't even have the child's gender on their birth certificate because they're saying the child can choose the gender, which to me, it's extremely ridiculous. And have gay and lesbian people been hated on and uh, beaten in, in the past and bullied? Of course, it's happened. Um, I do believe that a lot of people haven't tackled the, 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 the area of homosexuality in a mature way. You know, um, I think that it is true that a lot of uh, people in this community have been discriminated against or abandoned or you know, just mistreated. And I, again, I believe that no matter what race, creed, religious belief, lifestyle you live, you should be treated like a decent human being. That shouldn't change whatsoever. And I'm pretty sure some of my viewers, you guys have gay friends and lesbian friends that you're cool with. Um, and I still do to this day as well. But bottom line is, is that I don't agree with the lifestyle. I, I don't think it's beneficial for humanity. Um, some people say I'm born this way and I can't change it. Um, I, th I, I do believe it's a choice. I do believe people can change. You know, I've seen it happen before. I had a friend of mine who used to be gay and he's completely straight now. I had another friend who was bisexual and she became a Christian and now she's completely straight. She's married uh, with a kid now. So, you know, I don't believe it's, it's, it's permanent, but I do understand that a lot of people have been mistreated However, I, at the end of the day, I still don't believe it's the proper lifestyle that will benefit humanity. And I think that ever since we've allowed gay marriage to be legal, it's just caused a lot of more problems to trickle down from that. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So if you guys found this video interesting, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. 
ありがとうございます。皆さん。じゃあね。